This could be quite possibly one of the longest videos ever. So, you might want to pause it and go grab a snack and a drink because I got a lot of trash to talk about. Hey everybody, alright, so today I'm going to do my trash talking, what are they, empties. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing today? I don't know. I just want to talk some trash apparently. Anyways, I have a lot of empties and what's really sad is this all accumulated over a month's time. I didn't post a October empties. Um, I recorded one but I am really good at recording <laughs> videos and then deleting them from my camera before I get it uploaded on my computer because I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> so anyways, that that video was lost and I don't know if maybe I just was like really wanted to steam through some products and really use them up so I have a nice big hearty empties to share with you I don't know because I feel like I have a lot of crap and a lot of trash and a lot of stuff to talk about so let's talk some trash shall we I have a humongous bag <laughs> jam packed and then some other things that just won't fit in the bag so I'm just gonna kind of be nice and sort through it for you guys um, because that's always fun to sort through trash. I'm gonna show you makeup first and then I'll move on to body, skincare, hair care, and then to wine because you guys know I like to drink some wine. I like to share my thoughts with you on my wine. So, let's get started. Alright, I guess I didn't use up as much makeup as I thought I did, but still, like, it's always, it's always, what is it? so rewarding when you use that makeup because you're like, yes! <laughs> I've, I've hit pan and I went through a whole thing and and I don't know why, I just feel like I won some kind of victory. Um, so I used up some things, and let's show you, some full size things, yeah! So um, first thing I used up, this was a little sample of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, there's like a little bit, kind of messy, a little bit of crumbs on it, but I'm done, I'm over it. <laughs> I have a full size of this that I bought um, when I first started using this because I fell in love with it and my full size has sat in the box in my makeup drawer for like a year now because it took me a year to use this up. Like you get so much product in this little tiny deluxe sample. Yes, I really like it. Obviously I have a full size now that I can use now that I've used up the little deluxe size. So yes, I like it. I'm happy that I'm done with it though, to be honest. <laughs> Another bronzer. This is, um, this was like... Mm, I want to say it maybe came in a gift pack or something, like one of those Sephora samplers or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I came to acquire this, but this is the NARS Laguna bronzer. Um, this, once I hit pan on this, it went really fast. Um, once I hit pan on the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, I mean, it took forever and a day to go through. But once I hit pan on this, it was like gone in like a week, so... But that makes me feel good. So this is a nice bronzer. I don't think it's my favorite bronzer in the world. And this is just obviously a little size. I think this is the size of their eyeshadows. I don't know. But um, no. I, I like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I really have been loving the It Cosmetics bronzer. So no need for that. Um... Then I used up a little sample of the Dior Addict It Lash. I didn't really care for it. <laughs> it was okay, but I mean, it's nothing special. It had a really big spiky wand like this. I mean, it defined the lashes pretty nicely, but I really like a lot of volume, and this didn't give it to me. I should have brought in a trash can. What was I thinking? And two other makeup items. I used up one of the NYX HD photogenic concealer in the color yellow. I've talked about this many times. I do really like it, but I've been using my Peach Pixie under eye concealer and I feel like that does a really good job at brightening my eyes. So, so no, I don't need it. And then last thing, this is a eyeliner from Stila. It was the Smudge Stick waterproof eyeliner in the color color koi. <laughs> it was just a gold eyeliner. I did really like this, but Stila is not cruelty free anymore. Um, so no, I mean, it's all gone. I can't even get it up. I don't, I can kind of give you a little swatch, but it was just a gold eyeliner. If you have recommendations for like a metallic gold eyeliner, please let me know. Cause I did really like this. I, I really liked to put this on my waterline cause it just was kind of like, 
a pop of neutralness, but it wasn't just like a nude eyeliner. That makes no sense. Yep, so done. Now I used up a lot of skincare stuff. I used up my Holy Grail Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover. I love this stuff. I have already replenished and replaced my supply of it. Yes, I would repurchase it. I love it. I used up two of the Giovanni Soothing Unscented Facial Cleansing Talettes. I really like these. They're not the thickest material cleansing wipes, but they do really good. They don't burn my eyes, they don't irritate my skin, and they remove the makeup. So yes, I would repurchase. I actually have another pack I'm going through right now, and I get these off of Vitacloss. So yes, I do like those, and I would repurchase. I obviously used up two. Um, I used up another thing, top cotton rounds. I've talked about these many times. I get these at Costco. They're the Delon Plus. One side's exfoliating, one side's soft. They do the job. I like them. Next, I used up a day cream from A Cure. This is the Kotu Koala Stem Cell 1% Chlorella Growth Factor Day Cream. <laughs> it's firm, hydrate, and restore for normal to dry skin. I really like this. I feel like if you have super dry skin, this won't be super beneficial, but it did really good for my dry and kind of combination skin. I have a little boy playing in some nail polish down there, so I'm sorry if you can hear some, some stuff. <laughs> Um, this was kind of pricey, it was like $16 off of Vitacost, but I did really like it, but I am currently using the First Aid Beauty, um, one, I can't think of the name of it right now, um, so maybe in the future, but right now I have something else I'm using, so I did like it, but I don't need it right now. I used up this Polish Choice Resist BHA9, um, it's for stubborn imperfections. This little baby thing is 0.3 fluid ounces. <laughs> And it was like 30 something dollars. It was really pricey, but I did really like it, so I might possibly purchase this in the future. I feel like investing in your skincare is not a bad thing to do because if your skin looks good, then your makeup's always gonna look good. I've never been disappointed with any of Paula's Choices skincare. Like, she makes good stuff. So, so this is supposed to help reduce bumps, spots, redness, wrinkles, pimples, anything that's wrong with your face, it's going to cure. So <laughs> I do really like this. The only thing I didn't like about it is the pump does kind of like shoot out at you and you want to like conserve as much as you can because it's a pricey item, but I did really like it. So possibly maybe sometime in the future I will buy it. <laughs> so I did really like it. It's like a chemical exfoliant for your skin. Alright, I used up then quite a few skincare samples. Yeah, quite a few. So the first two things I used up was from the brand Nude. I used up the Advanced Serum. It's a really cute little bottle. And it comes with a little thingamabob, little little science test tube, <laughs> little dropper. There we go. What am I trying to say? Um I mean, it felt nice, it absorbed into the skin really well, but I don't know if it did anything. So I liked it, but did I see results? I don't know. I think I used up the Nude Pro Genius Treatment Oil. It has omega-3, 6, 7, and 9. Um, this was nice. It was a nice oil. I feel like it was a mix of oil. Like there was probably like some sea buckthorn berry oil in here because it had like a really deep orange like color to it. Um, so it's nice and hydrating, I did like it, but I think it's really expensive and my Cure Argan Oil for like $13 does the trick, so probably won't repurchase it. And then I used up two packets of the night cream from Kahina, Kahina, I hope I'm saying that right, Giving Beauty. Um, this is what it looks like, I'm sure you guys know the brand if you're into some like natural brands. I got these samples um, from two of my Eco Diva Beauty orders. Um, so. Each one of these samples had about maybe three to four nights worth, so I got like a good run of using these, and I did really like them. It says it combines two of nature's most potent anti-aging ingredients, argan oil and red wine grapes, um, combined in this restorative moisturizer rich in reservatol and antioxidants. Nightly use is supposed to reduce appearance of fine lines, improve skin tone and texture, deeply hydrate and defend against environmental aging. I really like this. I don't know what the full size price is, but I would most definitely probably check into maybe purchasing it sometime because it felt really nice in the skin. It kind of reminds me of like um, Philosophy's Hope in the Jar. It still has that same kind of herbal scent and that same kind of feeling. So if you like that, but want a more natural version, the Kahini Giving Beauty. <laughs> and since I butchered names, I will have everything I talk about listed down below.
I used up a couple samples from the Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics. Once again, I got this off of Eco Diva Beauty. You could buy a little purchase sample pack for like six bucks and you get to try out the things. And I really love everything. <laughs> this first thing is the Active Moisture Vitamin C Body Oil. This is really awesome. It's a great body oil. It really hydrates you. It has vitamin C, so it's going to do good for your skin and get rid of any scars and extra pigmentation. And it smells like a pina colada. It is so good, like a vacation in a bottle. Seriously divine smelling. I might need this in my life. So quite possibly I might need to buy a full size. It's expensive, but it's so good. And then the other thing that I quite possibly need a full size of is the Active Moisture Vitamin B Cleansing Oil. Oh, this stuff. Um, I have another little sample I'm going through right now, but once again, it has the same kind of tropical pina colada vacation in a bottle scent. It removes the makeup so well. It melts off even like waterproof mascara and just really gets rid of all the stuff and it smells so good. It feels so good on the skin and it's the best cleansing oil I've tried so far. So I do love this. So I, I really might need a full size. Then I used up the Active Moisture Vitamin C Serum, um, also from the Elizabeth Den for One Love Organics. This is nice, like it's a nice vitamin C serum, but I have a cheaper alternative, the CSI one I get from Vitacost that I really like. So um, although this was really nice and smelled really good and felt really good, I felt like it kind of sat on my skin a little bit longer. It didn't absorb as fast as the one I normally use. So wouldn't buy this one. And then I used up one of the little sprays. It's the Active Moisture Vitamin D Moisture Mist. It was nice, not necessary, so no. And then from just the regular One Love um, Organics line, this is the Love Springs Eternal. It's a serum toner. It smells kind of herbally and um, earthy. Felt really nice. I felt like it was really hydrating. And I liked it, but not enough to repurchase it. I forgot. I got, this was at my hotel recently when we went on a little trip to the hot springs. Um, they had this LA Fresh. Um, makeup remover wipe and I used it and it removed the makeup really well so I was like I'm gonna take that piece of trash home with me because you know that's what normal people do <laughs> but I just wanted to mention the only thing I did not like about it and the reason I would not repurchase it even though it removed makeup really well is the cloth itself is scratchy and rough on the skin so no removes makeup but if, um, so if you have really tough skin and eyeballs then go for it but Otherwise, I feel like it's way too harsh and really stiff and scratchy and rough. Yep. I just thought I'd throw my two cents in there. And since I brought home trash from the hotel, I figured I might as well talk about it, right? <laughs> Alright, now some body care, bath care stuff, I guess. This is a little cognac sponge. It's the clay heart sponge from One Love Organics. It's an adorable little heart. Mine's like, ew, it's gross. It's time to go. <laughs> Um, so you need to replace these every three months or so and it's been three months so this needs to go and it's starting to change colors so that's probably a good indication that time to toss it. <laughs> but I did, I made it in the bag. Ha! Skills. But I did really like it and I have repurchased that so I do recommend it so really like it. Alright, I used up a couple things from Lush. Um, this was the Dorothy Bubble Bar. I love the Dorothy Bubble Bar. Oh, it's so clean and refreshing and just, it's just a beautiful, lovely bath. It has like blue and it has like a little rainbow on it. So it's a cute looking bath bomb and it smells really good and leaves really nice sudsy moisturizing bubbles. So yes, I would repurchase the Dorothy Bubble Bar. I also used up a couple of these little Ickle Baby, what are they called? Ickle Baby Bot. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> it's kind of rubbed off. It just says baby bot. But they're the little blue robots that are meant for like the children's bath. Um, they're just like a soothing, calming, lavender kind of scent. And they're blue and they look like a little robot. And the kids really like the fizzy, blue, fun robot action. I feel like the scent is just really good, relaxing, and soothing. Like um, aromatherapy for the children. Just kind of soothe them into dreamland. So yes, I love the Ickle Baby Bot bath bomb <laughs> from Lush. And I would buy more. Then I used up uh, the Defluff, also from Lush. This is the strawberry shaving soap. 
yes, I've purchased a big full size recently. If you guys watched my last Lush haul, there, oh, there's like a little tiny smidge. It's amazing. It smells so good. It leaves your skin so soft. It really helps the razors glide. I'm prone to cuts and razor burn and nicks and just like a really unpleasant shaving experience, but this stuff has changed my world of shaving and I love it. So definitely recommend 100%. Next up, my, one of my favorite bubble baths. This is from the brand Deep Steep. I also buy this from Vitacost. So this is the Clean Pure Natural Brown Sugar and Vanilla Bubble Bath. This smells like brown sugar vanilla. It's very scrumptious, delicious smelling. It makes wonderful bubbles and it's very hydrating. So once you get in the bath water, like it actually is hydrating your skin with this bubble bath, like which is awesome for a liquid bubble bath to do. I just, I love the packaging as well. It's just very pretty to look at. This is like a great Christmas gift stuff, like so. It's a good idea for gifts, yeah. Um, our bubbles plus you equals queen for a day. I love this. I use it on myself and my children, so highly recommend it. It's really, really good bubble bath, and it's like $6 for 17.5 fluid ounces. Good deal. All right, this video is getting rather long. Let's speed it along. So I used up one of my favorite conditioners. This is from Desert Essence. I also get this from Vitacost. <laughs> this is the Coconut Conditioner. It is an amazing conditioner if you have dry, coarse, frizzy, porous, color treated, just like frizzled hair, <laughs> frazzled hair. This is just going to make your hair feel so good without weighing it down with any silicones or anything bad like that. It's just a really nice good for you conditioner that smells delicious like coconuts. And yes, I have already replenished this, so I have another one in my shower at the moment. So I love this. So I used up this body lotion from Julep. This is the Bare Body Milk um, from Julep. That's all there is to it. <laughs> what was that face? It smells delicious. I really like the scent of it. It's not the most hydrating lotion, but it does sink in pretty fast and give, you know, adequate moisture. It's not super hydrating, but it does the job and it smelled delicious so maybe more towards the summer because it's kind of like a tropical scent but I have plenty of lotions right now that I am currently obsessed with so no I don't need this. I used up a little sample size of the lovely Judleys from Lush. <laughs> uh, that name alone has made me always want to try it. It's a breast cream and it's supposed to be firming and uplifting um, and you can use it on your buttocks as well if you need a little, whoo, a little tightening and lifting. I did not like this. The scent of it gave me a migraine. I'm almost even scared to smell it. It's not bad, but it was just too, too, too potent for me. I know a lot of people like this, but especially like if I would put it on the ladies. <laughs> and like, you know, those are right below my nose and it was just too, too, too much. And I immediately wanted to go hop back in the shower and wash off my tatas because they smelled gross. I did not like the scent of it. It was too intense. So obviously I would not repurchase that. Leave <laughs> some candles and then some wine and then what? Maybe this will be like only a 30 minute video. <laughs> so I used up um, a little baby size caramel pumpkin swirl from Bath and Body Works. These are all from Bath and Body Works and they're all pumpkin scents. They're all really nice. Um, I don't know if I like the caramel one that much but in a baby size it was okay. These two, however, I did really like. The pumpkin sugar donut. <laughs> it smelled like pumpkin and donuts. I mean, hello. And then the pumpkin cupcake. Cupcake and pumpkin, I mean, can't really go wrong there. <laughs> so those were nice. I have a lot of other candles I need to go through, but I want to start trying some Yankee candles, and I want to purchase some more candles from Candles by Victoria, so won't be, won't be repurchasing. I forgot one extra conditioner I used up. This is from Giovanni, and it's the Hair Reconstructor. I also buy this from Vitacost. Are we sensing a trend here? Deep Repair for Critically Damaged Hair. Um, it was okay. It's not my favorite, and it's not my favorite because you have to use a good amount of it, and, you know, granted, I have really dry, coarse hair, um, so it takes a lot to really moisturize this straw I got on my head um, but you have to leave it on for 10 minutes and I, that's too long <laughs> I know the macadamia mask that I normally use is like seven minutes but really those extra three minutes 
having to wait just to make my hair feel semi good. It's, I don't got time for that. <laughs> um, but it was nice. So, you know, it could be a cheaper alternative to the macadamia one if you have time to leave it in for 10 minutes. But you do have to go, like, I felt like I went through this really fast. So, it was nice. It smelled good. Just really fresh and clean, kind of like a traditional salon shampoo and conditioner scent, like Biolage or something. It smelled good. But no, I probably will not repurchase it. Alright, I drank a lot of wine. <laughs> My husband helped me, but... <laughs> So, to the Pothic Red. These are always in my house. It's my favorite one. It's just so, so good. Vanilla, mocha, deep berry red wine. It's good. And it's like under $10. So, definitely, definitely good. This is Primal Roots, and it was the California Red Blend. It was okay. It was kind of cheap tasting. Um, it's supposed to have mocha and vanilla and black cherry. Kind of like the Pothic Red, but... The Pothic Red is like 10 million times better than this. So I liked it. I drank it. But um, if I had to choose, I would not repurchase it again. And I would just get my Apothic Red. This one was amazing. This is the 14 Hands. And it's the Cabernet Sauvignon. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this is a rich, full-bodied Cabernet Sauvignon featuring bold characters of black currant, dark cherry, and espresso with hints of spice. Perfectly balanced for a smooth finish that makes this wine a great dinner companion. It's uh, amazing and I really like it so I highly, highly recommend it as well. Last one I bought for the novelty of it and it's the Mad Housewife. It's the Sweet Pink. Um, I didn't like this. My husband's the one that drank it. <laughs> um, he likes sweet wines and like Moscato and things like that. Um, so this was a Sweet Pink. I mean, I just bought it because I thought it was funny. <laughs> mad housewife. Because I'm a mad housewife a lot of times. <laughs> Let's be real. You know, it happens. <laughs> so somewhere near the cool shadows of the laundry room, past the litter box behind the plastic yards of toys, this is your time. <laughs> time to enjoy a moment to yourself, a moment without madness. The dishes can wait. Dinner can be damned. Mad housewife, sweet pink. So I just you know, I thought it was funny. Um, cute bottle, but... I like red wines. I like more richness. Um, it was good. I mean, my husband liked it, so he drank it. So there we go, right? Holy cow. Yep, almost 30 minutes. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this ridiculously long empties video, and hopefully you had a snack and a beverage because I can imagine you'd be parched. I'm feeling quite parched from talking so much, so I'm going to go get a drink. And anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.